Testing. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. very blessed morning brothers and sisters let's be upstanding to begin our funeral service and liturgy for our brother name Grand true. 
rest to the souls who look for your hope, your garden of joy is the great reward. Good morning, everyone. Please be seated for the Nashra. تقام صلاة الجناز والذبيحة الإلهية لراحة نفس المرحوم نعيم طنص الجر من حتشيت النعون أرملته مدلان ابنه جوزيف بناته ماري زوجة مايكل خضير وعائلتها مونيكا زوجة جيمز الجندي وعائلتها ماجي زوجة داني دياب وعائلتها شقيقه كليم وعائلته شقيقته تراز وعائلتها وعموم الأهل والأقارب وعائلة الجر نعمة دياب وفارس وعموم عائلة حتشيد بالوطن والانتشار نذكر معه المرحومين ولديه طنسة وغالي أشقاء ونعمة وزوجته حليم حنة وزوجته نديم وزوجته شقيقاته مسرة وزوجة رومان وسرعد ديبلي وزوجة فؤاد أسعد حنة بيت حمي فارس نادر فارس وزوجته أولغا وابنه النادر فارس وعموم موتى موتى عائلة الجر موتى حتشيت والموتى عموما Very blessed morning dear brothers and sisters joining with all the clergy we join our prayers raise them up that our Lord may grant rest to our brother Naim and give you his peace and consolation following on the prayers on the powerpoint Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, make all the faithful departed who sleep in your hope and true faith, worthy to find rest and happiness with your saints, especially our brother name whom we remember today before your majesty. You are the good one and the lover of all people. We offer glory and thanks to you, to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let's be seated for the psalm. Have mercy on me, O God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. O oh, purify me, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart creates for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. With your blessing, have mercy on us, O Lord, and help us. Lord, in your mercy, enable our brother Naim, who has left us, to be admitted into the abode of life, into the assembly of the saints who have pleased you from the beginning. We offer you glory to you now and forever. Alleluia, Lord, we, your people, ask you to receive your servant in the gates of paradise with the saints. Grant him forgiveness, have compassion, wipe away his sins, for he has loved you. Open the gates. Count him, Lord, on the judgment day with the saints and the righteous ones. May he praise and worship you and thank you, O Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O oh, let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, 
For this we reveal you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than those who watch for daybreak. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. With your blessing, have mercy on us, O Lord, and help us. Lord, save our brother Naim, who, have, who you have taken from us by your will from the power, from the power of death. Rescue the soul of your worshipper from the dwelling of death, and let him dwell in your heavenly kingdom. Make him worthy to enter your paradise on the day of your manifestation with the righteous and the saints. We thank you with joy and glorify you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. To God be glory, Grant a place in heaven, Lord, for this your servant who has gone before us to your throne of glory. Accept him, Lord. He has shed your body and your blood clothed in majesty. Now receive him with the sheep your faithful servants in your kingdom with the saints who glorify you. Tawba lil rajul allazi yattaqi rabb wa yahwa wa sayahu jiddan tatunu zurriyatuhu fil ardi muqtadira wa jilu al mustaqimina yub أشرق النور في الظلمة للمستقيمين الرب رؤوف ورحيم وصديق صديق يكون ذكره إلى الأبد ثابت قلبه متكل بدد وأعطى المساكين فبره يدوم إلى الأباد المجد للآب والابن والروح القدس من الآن وإلى أبد الآبد أريح يا ربي عبدك بين الأبرار الصالحين أفسح له في ملقك فرحه بين الظافرين المجد العظيم أشرق عليه في دجا مثواه في ليل الجحيم أشرق له باب الموت يدخل إلى روح الأزل سر الصليب والعماد جسر إلى عرش الحماد من كلوم لنرفع عنا التسبيح والمجد والإكرام إلى الحي الذي قال فكنا وخلقنا وصنع آدم على مثال عظمته وبأمر يحله من هذه الحياة ويرده إلى طبع الأول التراب الذي أخذ منه ويدعوه ويقيمه ويجدده 
وَيُزَيِّنُ ثُمَّ يَمْنَحُ الْمِرَاثَ مَعَ مَلَائِكَتِهِ الصالح الذي له المجد والإكرام في هذا الوقت وكل أيام حياتنا إلى بدء الآبدين أيها الأزلي الكثير النعمة والحق أيها النور والحياة الجديدة يا خالق العوالم والأزمنة ودورانها مرهوب الممجد بأواملك الطويل الروح والذي ذا بمراحمك إن عما قدم إلى مكشوفة لديك وسبلك لا تفحص وقد أرسلت ابنك الحبيب ربنا يسوع المسيح إلى العالم ليبيد الموت وينقض الجحيم وبيبشرت بالحياة كل نفس تبتغي Now the Lord make it and rule of heaven and earth. We offer you praise for the soul of our brother Naim, who has left this earth the life of pilgrimage, so that the angels of peace may guide him to the place of rest. O lover of all people, grant him the pardon of his sins. Extend your almost for right hand to him and rescue him from the second death. Remember your holy promise to him and to us. Lord, companion and guardian so that he may reach the blissful dwelling place forget forget his adversity and sorrow and may he find rest with the saints in eternal glory and we worshipers grant us to be ready to live a pure life in you Free from sin, and we will live here a peaceful departure, and we will deserve to enter your eternal kingdom. Then we shall glorify you with your Holy Son and your Holy Spirit, Baruch Moon, now and forever. Accept him with the righteous and the saints who have pleased you. He was baptized, he consumed you, he has followed your precepts as he enters my feet in the joy of your kingdom. With and the saints he will praise and thank you Lord Baruch Moore Lord we beseech you through the fragrance of this incense offered before you accompany our brother Naim who has departed from us lead him to the blissful dwelling places of your saints Forgive all his sins and offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
With him is due glory to you and your Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Kadishat Aloho Kadishat Hail to no Kadishat Lo Moyoto Pitrahama Lay Kadishat Aloho Kadishat Hail to no Kadishat Lo Moyoto Pitrahama Lay Kadishat Aloho Kadishat Hail to no Kadishat Lo Moyoto Ayuha Rabbul Kuddus, Saladhi La Yamut, Kaddis Afkarana wa Naki Dama'irana, Fanusabihaka Tasbihan Nakiyan, Wa Nuski Ila Kutubika Al Mukaddasa, Laka Al Majdu, Ila Al Abad. Let's be seated for the first reading in Arabic and English. From my youth and up to now, my eyes look to you to say, Now I sleep in hope of you, grant me rest among the saints. Your cross lightens up the dark with the shadow all around. Save me from the torments there, Lord, your mercy I have found. In your kindness grant him rest, he has slept in hope of you. With the righteous and the just, stand him to the right of you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans with your blessing. Glory to the Lord of Paul and the Apostles. May the mercy of God descend upon the reader, the listeners, and upon this parish family and her children forever. We do not live to ourselves, and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or you, why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each of us will be accountable to God. Praise be to God always. الذي بشر العالم بالحياة فلنصغي إلى بشارة الحياة والخلاص لنفوسنا ارحمنا يا رب قال الرب يسوع لا يضطرب قلبكم آمنوا بالله 
وآمنوا بي إن المنازل في بيت أبي كثيرة وإلا لكنت أقولكم أنا ماض لأعد لكم مكانا ثم آتي وآخذكم إلي لتكونوا أنتم حيث أكون أنا وتعرفون إلى أين أذهب وتعرفون الطريق فقال له توما يا رب نحن لا نعرف إلى أين تذهب فكيف نستطيع أن نعرف الطريق فقال له يسوع أنا هو الطريق والحق والحياة ولا أحد يأتي إلى أبي إلا بي لو كنتم تعرفوني لكنتم تعرفون أبي أيضا ومن ومن الآن تعرفونه وقد رأيتموه From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Saint John Jesus said to the disciples Do not let your hearts be troubled believe in God believe also in me In my father's house there are many dwelling places If it were not so would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you And if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am there you may be also and you know the way to the place where I'm going Thomas said to him Lord we do not know where you are going how can we know the way Jesus said to him I am the way the truth and the life No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, for giving us his words of life. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. Brothers and sisters, firstly, my gratitude to Father Joachim, the Acting Dean, for the welcome to give the homily today for the funeral mass for dear Naim, Norm. And secondly, on behalf of Father Joachim and Father Sharbaldi, the celebrant, and all the clergy, and all gathered here, we offer to Madeline, to Joseph, to Marie with Michael, Monica with James, Maggie with Danny, to the 11 grandchildren, to Kaleem and Therese and their families and all the extended family and friends here, mindful of the family in Lebanon. Our sympathy and prayers for you all as you journey through this time of loss of dear Norm. And our prayers with yours in this Mass, entrusting him to our Lord Jesus, replacing the house of our Heavenly Father. Always when we come to a time like this, time of someone's passing, Hearing their story calls us to reflect on something greater than just our lives, something above. And reflecting on Norm's story, sitting with the family, some beautiful, wonderful qualities they shared about him. As a son and brother, very compassionate, committed, committed, generous, giving, working hand in hand with Madeline, 42 years of marriage, his faith. Strict against noise, didn't like too much noise at times. Something's there for us. Believed in God, had faith. Built his family home and work for his children and grandchildren. 
I could imagine 42 years ago, at another time that we think of the big story of life, when we get married. I could only imagine what with Madeline and Naeem in Lebanon preparing to get married and the promise between them and I suppose in a way his promise to her because he knew Australia and she didn't yet and in a way his promise would have said to her when we marry I promise you we have faith in God, believe in God, believe in each other it's going to be wonderful blessings and opportunities in Australia for our children and grandchildren. And Madeline, not knowing another country like Australia, not knowing and maybe having some fear, would have had to really believe the word of Naeem, of what there was in Australia, believing. Compassionate, committed, working hard, hand in hand. Among Jesus' last words in the gospel were those that we heard here today. Most beautiful words to his disciples. He, on the eve of his death, on the eve of his death, and he would know there will be great trouble and a lot of fear and a lot of unknown for his disciples. He says to them, do not let your hearts be troubled. He has compassion for them. He knows the trouble. Even though facing his own suffering, he's aware of theirs. And he says to them, be committed. Believe in God. Believe in me, he says to them, be committed. And why should they be committed? They will see the greatest generosity ever seen on earth, the generosity of God's son giving himself for us, so giving. And he says to them, I will go and prepare a place for you. The cross is part of his preparation of not Australia, for us, not for whatever suburb we're living in, and not for whatever other country in the world we're going to live in, but for heaven. I go to prepare a place for you so that where I am, you may be also. Jesus' compassion, Jesus' commitment, Jesus' generosity. Great hope and sign for us at this time where we may feel at the time of the death, we may feel the big questions of the unknown. We may feel fear what lies ahead. He says to us, be compassionate, committed, stay being generous. St. Paul says, to the end, Christ committed to us, died for us, was so generous so that we would know we belong to him. He is Lord of the living and the dead and he brings us to the house of the Heavenly Father. Name's life, his 78 years, and especially, as I mentioned, the 42 years of marriage with Madeline. Signs. Marriage is a sacrament, a living sign of God's presence for us. So when husband and wife, mum and dad, live daily the call of their marriage, the call of their love, those actions, those signs, become sacraments, signs to their children and to those around them. For Naeem, it started a long time ago through his baptism as a son raised by his late parents, Tansa and Ghalia, the middle of nine children, the fifth of nine children. Amazingly, something very unusual, um, his brother Kalim said to me, he became the leader in the family. The fifth, the middle child, became the one who was leader, looked up to, respected. And he said it was because of his commitment, his generosity and his honesty. They all looked up to him. And he never wavered, even coming to Australia in the early years when he came from the late 60s. His commitment was always to continue to help his parents and help his brothers and sisters back in Lebanon. Generous, honest and committed to them. And they never forget that. And then as a husband to Madeline, as I mentioned, something beautiful she mentioned hand in hand, always together, shopping together, looking after the children together. If the children crying during the night in the younger years, he would wake up, he'd say to her, don't worry, I'll look after them, I'll go and do the, do the feed, do what, change the nappy, whatever. Wonderful to hear that, 
hand in hand, working together. And she said they hand in hand worked and built the home. The children mentioned the home that they were living in. He built it together with her, hands on. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you, hands on. I make a place for you. Wonderful quality. When we build, the things that are happening in our family lives are truly wonderful, loving and life-giving have to call us to remember what God is doing for us. As we prepare and build our homes here for our children, as we come around Sunday lunch, which was so important to the family, gathering, do you remember that's part of pointing to what God wants, what Jesus is working for us to experience eternally in heaven in the communion of life and love. So then everything we do, we're doing it with faith, with compassion, commitment and love for others, not out of selfishness but out of love and compassion and pointing our children to what God has planned for us and his presence with us. And the family says, a brother, a husband, father to his four children and loved by the, the in-laws and a grandfather to 11, giving and generous and spending time with them um, as the family related to me. The witness too in his suffering, something beautiful, witness to his faith, he couldn't hold the rosary beads or to pray the rosary, but he would write on a piece of paper every time he did the Hail Mary in the rosary. That's how he counted and was able to pray when he was struggling with the dementia. So still the dementia not stopping the call of prayer, the call of faith, and that faith that he lived out, celebrating his faith at St Raymond's, at St Pat's at Guildford, and also here at Our Lady of Lebanon. Something too for us that we could take from his life, the family related, with a little bit of humour. He was strict against noise. If they're making too much noise, be strict against noise. That's not a bad message for us in our very noisy world. No noise at the moment. So that we can hear the truth, the most powerful, wonderful story. How important for us to take time, stop the noise, stop the social media noise, stop sometimes a little bit like COVID made us do, stop a bit of the too much activity to really be able to focus, say, hang on, what, what is our life all about? What are the most important things? What are our children going to remember, be thinking about when they come to this time of no noise? What's going to be going through their hearts? What's going to feed them? What's going to strengthen them? For all of us to take that time in our lives, our families, quieten down the noise, be with each other, truly present. Take time to be with God on Sunday at Mass, time in prayer. Then we will hear our Lord say, do not let your hearts be troubled. Whatever the hardship, the difficulty, do not let your hearts be troubled. Wonderful gift, testimony that Naim passed on to his children. So lying ahead, we don't know what times of loss, what more loss, what four years we might have, what questions. We let Naim's life teach us to turn to the one who is most compassionate, no one more committed in love to us, no one more generous to us, no one with a greater promise to us than Jesus that we have a house, we have a place in the Father's house in heaven. It's our prayer for Naeem, our brother, today. Be upstanding, brothers and sisters, asking the family members doing the offertory to come around and we we'll profess the creed as we say, we believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Wal wot al ho dam hadit tal yo, we nukso ho tai boto, he ol el baito, we sud bahayek lo, ot ko sho. Dihel to khmor yo da barin wab zadi ku to Alohun kabil kurbanu khunitra hamalain ba asnutu Halilu ya qala rabbu innani al khubzu al muhi الآتي من حضن الأبي كوتا للعالم كابيلاني حضن العذراء الأم من ناقي العذراء مريم مثل حبات القمح في الأرض الخاصبة سرت فوق المذبح كوتا للبي أيها الرب الإله العظيم يا من قبلت الكارابين الأولين اقبل ما حمل إليك أبناؤك من كارابين حبا لك ولا اسمك القدوس أجل عليهم بركاتك روحية وبدل عطياهم الزائلة هب لهم الحياة والملكوت آمين as we remember our Lord, God and Saviour Jesus Christ and his plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, Saint Joseph, Saint Peter, Saint Maroon, Saint Shadbil, Saint Mary MacKillop, Saint Raymond and all the saints. Remember, O God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers and our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom this sacrifice is offered, our brother Naim, and all the faithful departed of his family and extended family, we pray also that the Lord may grant strength and consolation to his loved ones. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. Mother of God, Mother of life, come to our Savior, Mother of God, O Mother of Light. Let's be seated as we continue with the Anaphora. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy Father, grant security, peace, and everlasting love to your church, that we may raise glory and thanks to you. To your only Son and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, O altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to my brother priest in Christ, deacon and subdeacon of the church. Peace to you, servers of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, Holy Spirit. Salam
children of God. O Lord, bless us and make us worthy of the eternal reward reserved for men and women of peace. But of more and we raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. O Lord, we offer you these holy mysteries that through them you may free us from the sufferings caused by sin and enable us to work for justice. But more that we may raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. Let's be upstanding now for the acoustic prayer. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence and worship him with humility. It is right and just. With heart, mind and tongue we give you thanks, O Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one true God. Joined spiritually to the invisible choirs and countless ranks of angels, your faithful people glorify you with them and three times proclaim. And he added these words, Whenever you share in these mysteries, remember my death, burial, and resurrection until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O Lord, we do not forget the amazing events of your plan of salvation and the fearful signs of your second coming when you shall reward all people according to their deeds. Now your church implores you and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, have mercy on us, Almighty Father, have mercy on us. O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have compassion on us, O God, have mercy on us and hear us. 
How awesome is this moment, my beloved? For the living Holy Spirit descends and rests upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. Lord God and Father, have compassion on us and on all your inheritance. Be pleased with this offering through the descent of your Holy Spirit, who proceeds eternally from you, and who is substantially the same as you and your Son. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. And may your living Holy Spirit come and rest upon us and upon this offering. That by his descent he may make this bread the body of Christ our God. Amen. And make the mixture in this chalice the blood of Christ our God. Amen. May these mysteries, O Lord, allow us to share in them to find joy in your presence, and we raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. Let's be seated now for the prayers of the faithful. O Lord, be an invincible fortress against false teachings for your church and her shepherds. Sist our fathers, Francis, the Pope of Rome, Shara Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, Antoine Shabal, our Bishop, and all the bishops of the true faith, with blameless lives and purity and holiness, may they guide your church and present you a faithful people who honour your name. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord of life and peace, you understand the emptiness and loss that we feel through the passing of our dear Jiddu. Please bind our families together with the hope and love that only you can give. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we remember when your son was in agony, you sent an angel to console him. We ask you to console us who mourn because the one we love has died. Fill our hearts with faith, hope and love. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord we, Lord, we have been buried with your Son in baptism to rise with him in glory. May we always live in Christ for nothing, for even death will separate us from the love of your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Father, you have given us the living bread from heaven to be eaten with faith and love. May the Eucharist that we share unite us to you so that in this life and in the next we will be truly yours forever. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Son of the living God, you raise your friend Lazarus from the dead. Grant life and glory to our dear Jiddu. For you are the resurrection and the life. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord have mercy. Kun ya Rabb ghafiran lil mawta al mu'minin allazina khullisu bi mawt ibnika al wahid khassatan khayna na'im fa iza khalusna min al mawt wa najawna min al jahim wa nahadna min matamir al turab azumat alayna wa ala amwatina ni'matu ibnika al wahid allazi narju bi wasitatihi nawal al marahim wa ghufrana khatayana wa khatayahum arih allahumma al mawta واغفر خطايانا التي اقترفناها بمعرفة وبغير معرفة. Today, when all is renewed, make us and our departed worthy through your grace of the joy of your heavenly kingdom. In us and in all things, may your blessed and most honoured name be glorified, praised, and exalted, with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As it was, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have believed, we have approached, and now we seal and break this oblation, the heavenly bread, the body of the word, who is the living God. O Lord of
Who offered yourself for us? You are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You are the high priest who offered yourself as the Lamb. Through your mercy, may our prayer rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory forever. افتح يا رب أفواهنا وشفاهنا قدس أسادنا ونفوسنا طهر عقولنا وضمائرنا فنتف إليك متدرعين يا آب المراحم ونصلي قائلين أبانا الذي في السماوات ليتقدس اسمك ليأتي ملكوتك لتكن مشيئتك كما في السماء كذلك على الأرض أعطنا خبزنا كفاف يومنا واغفر لنا ذنوبنا وخطايانا كما نحن نغفر لمن خطئ إلينا ولا تدخلنا في التجارب لكن نجنا من الشرير لأن لك الملك وقوة والمجد إلى أبد الآبدين آمين. Yes, O Lord, hasten to transform all that is harmful and detrimental to that which will help and benefit us. Barak more that we may raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. As-salamu li jami'ikum. Wa ma'a ruhika. Ihnu ru'usakum amam Allah al-ra'uf. Wa amam mazbahihi al-ghafir. Wa amam jasadi mukhallisina. Wa damihi al-muhi liman yatanawaluhu. Wa akbalu al-baraka min al-rab. فلتأتي يا رب نعامك وبركاتك وهباتك الإلهية كلها وتحل غزيرة على بعاتك ورعاياك وأديارتك فنرفع إليك المجد الآن وإلى الأبد آمين نعمة الثالوث الأقدس الأزلي متساوي في جوهر معكم يا إخوتي إلى الأبد ومع روحك لينظر كل واحد منا إلى الله بتهيب وخشوع وليسأله الرحمة والحنان Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One holy Father, one holy Son, one holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for He is one in heaven and on earth. To Him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so, so that, that our, our bodies may be sanctified by Your holy body and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever. For he is 
Let's be upstanding now for our blessing after Holy Communion. Again and again we thank you, O Lord, and raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, O compassionate and merciful one, O lover of all people, have mercy on us.
with the family of the late Naim, and on their behalf we thank the clergy and all here present for your attendance and prayers at this funeral service and to all those who offer their condolences of over last few, few days. After the funeral service, the family will be receiving condolences in the courtyard at Dame Matkhar Leknisi. Upon returning from the burial, بعد الرجوع من المدافن, the family invite all to join them to share in the mercy meal which will be held at St. Ryman Hatshit Hall, 13 Jameson Street, Granville. العائلة بتدعي الجميع بعد الرجوع من المدافن حتى تشاركون لقمة الرحمة بهول حدشيت على العنوان 13 Jameson Street, Granville. The 40 day mass for the soul of Naim will be on Saturday, 8 October at 6 p.m. at Our Lady of Lebanon Co. Cathedral. May we all continue to pray for the soul of our brother Naim, who has lived this life and sleeps in the hope of the resurrection and eternal life. Allah yirhamu yirham mawtaykum jami'an. كما أني بذكر أنه ليلة على الساعة ستة بمناسبة عيد مار رومانوس في قداس على نية أحياء وأموات بلدة حتشيت الله يرحمه ويرحم موتاكم جميعا Holy Father, our mouths accustomed to earthly food give you thanks for your grace that has made us worthy of this heavenly food the body and blood of your only son through him and with him, glory, power, and honor are due to you and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. O Christ, you are the heavenly bread who came down and became for us the food that does not perish. At your second coming, may we not become the food of the imperishable fire. We raise glory and thanks to you, to your Father, to your Holy Spirit, Baruch more now and forever. Amen. Let's be upstanding now for the final blessing. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. And may the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity accompany you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Gracious Father God of love, you have rescued us from death. Save your servant from the dark, save him from the blazing fire. Grant to him eternal life. Lord, receive your servant he, he was baptized in your name. Wash away his sin and shame, write his name among the saints. Eternal rest grant to him, O Lord, and let perpetual life shine upon him. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Baruch Mor, peace be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, we'll pray one Our Father and one Hail Mary for the rest of the soul of our brother Naim. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum ya Maryam, ya mumtali atan nama, ar rabbu maaki, mubarakat anti fin nisa, wa mubarakat thamrat batniki sayyidna yasu al masih. Ya iddisa Maryam, ya walidat Allah, salli li ajlina nahnu al khata'a, al ana wa fi saat mawtina. Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, you became incarnate and tasted bitter death for our salvation. You have mercy on each soul who has departed from this perishable world. After having died with you in the waters of baptism and having received your pure body and holy blood, nourishment of blessings and sign of forgiveness, 
Have mercy on our brother Naim who has gone from among us. Amen. Take him to the heavenly dwellings with your righteous and saints. Amen. Those who have kept your commandments and accomplished your will. Amen. Then with them who will give thanks and praise to your holy name and that of your blessed Father and your living Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. May he rest in peace. Ya Ummah Allah Ya Hanuna Ya Kanzara شفعي فينا يا عذراء وتحنني على موتى
Oh uh-huh.